and welcome to Paige's Planet. Today, we're going to be exploring some of Florida's wetlands. I'm right here at the Brooker Creek Nature Preserve to explore some of Florida's pristine wetlands. And it looks like, by the state of the trail, I might be getting some soggy socks by the end of this. Wetlands are generally low-lying areas with slow drainage. They hold water for enough time of the year that you'll find plant life there that has adapted to those conditions. <laughs> Wetlands provide a habitat and a support system for birds, reptiles, fish, crustaceans, all kinds of insects, you name it. They have a home here in the Florida wetlands. What a beautiful habitat. I was watching my feet when I was walking instead of looking up and I nearly ran into the home of this beautiful arachnid. This is a golden silk orb spider, but I usually have heard them called banana spiders myself. Watch what she's doing here. It looks like a twig has blown into her web and is ruining it as it blows in the breeze. So she has come over and is carefully unwinding it and preparing to drop it back down to the floor below. Watch how she works so quickly and efficiently. Oh, there it goes. Now all that's left to do is repair the damage that it caused her beautiful web. Even though these spiders can get really big, a female's body can reach two inches in length. That's not including legs. They're not considered dangerous to people. A bite might hurt, but they're not likely to bite. They're much more likely to flee. And their venom is considered non-effective on humans. Here's a fun fact. In 2012, two gentlemen, Simon Piers and Nicholas Godley, finished a three-year project in which they created a shawl and cape made entirely from the silk of these golden orb weaver spiders. They collected silk from over a million female golden orb spiders. Luckily, those spiders were not harmed in the process. Wetlands used to cover 60% of Florida's landmass, and now it's nearly half that. Of course this is devastating for the plants and animals that call these wetlands home, but it's also really bad for humans living here in Florida. For one thing, these wetlands are able to hold the floodwaters in big storms, like what we just experienced with Hurricane Irma. Wetlands also hold, filter, and then slowly release rainwaters into the aquifer, which is a huge source of fresh water for a lot of the population of Florida. Right behind me here, I came across a beautiful animal, one of Florida's native snake species. I've just come across a black racer, a beautiful species of snake that's considered harmless to people. This non-venomous species is not only adorable, but easily recognizable due to their jet black appearance and white chin. What we got to see today were just a few of the amazing animals that call Florida wetlands home. If you would like to learn more about wetlands, check out the links where I did my research. I'll include them right below in the description. Also, make sure to go out and hike your local wetlands and see what you can find, because you never know what's out there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the rest of your week is wonderful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, all the rest, and follow me on the social media links below if you like what I'm doing here. Alright, bye bye